I'm still recording. Oh yeah? I'm gonna get a picture of you looking in there. Here, and compared to an exposed 916 motor, like on the S4 Foggy, you can see the different designing. This, all the cam drive tensioners and stuff are designed for being able to stay in higher RPM. Now, those belts, what's, what's the valve adjustment on this bike? Uh, every 10,000 kilometers. Kilometers. Not miles, right? Correct. Because I, I had a guy in here the other day. 6,000 yeah. miles, 10,000 kilometers. Yeah. I, feel, I, I was thinking 6,000 miles. I had a guy in here yesterday asking me about that. Yeah. Saying, oh, there are a lot of problems with them being a valve problem. It's around 5,000, 6,000 kilometers yeah. or something. That's, and I, I told him it was the older air cool motor. That's true. Well, it's actually more th than that. And that is a very common question. Uh, that's asked all the time. And this is what it comes down to. In the 2000 model year, um, valve train parts were made higher quality. Oh, yeah. And since 2000, 2001, 2002, the servicing intervals have been extended. So on an earlier bike, like a 1999, mm -hmm. 996, or 1998, 916, the customer was right. When the 2000 model came out, actually the dealers were rather surprised in the owner's manual when it went from uh, 6,000 kilometers to 10,000 kilometers. And it has to do with higher quality parts. Yeah. Like I knew about the 748s having those uh, stuff chipping off the... Uh, yeah, they've had a rocker finishing rocker problem. Room, yeah. Let me tell you one other thing with the 748 versus the 996. And that question that you just asked me. 996s tend to be short shifted. 998s. You're you really not, higher, you mean? No, meaning you go just the opposite. You, you really keep it more mid range. This one. Yeah. 748s, you tend to bounce off the rev limiter because the horsepower is right up there at the top. Yeah. It's one reason 748 is so fun to ride because it's almost like a 600cc inline four. But the point I'm getting to is in servicing. When you bring the 748 in for that 10,000 kilometer full service, most of those valves are out of adjustment because of the way the bike has been ridden. You bring a 996 in, and I'm going to assume the new 998 in for that 10,000 mile service, very few valves are out because you're not bouncing against a rev limiter on this bike. You're using the mid range because that's where there's the sweet spot is with horsepower. Yeah, there's a guy in Shelburne, which is north where I live now. He's got a last last year's 996, and I think what they told me was he has 20,000 K on it. And he hasn't taken it in yet. Like he, he's just taking it in. It's, it's true, and it's still still pretty good. So it's true. The bike that's the best case scenario with this is the ST4, ST4S. Oh yeah. Because it's got the superbike engine in it. That matte titanium ST4S has a 996 motor in it. Yeah. However, that owner never hits redline. Because of the nature of the sport terrain rider. Oh yeah. Okay. Those bikes, it's just a fad. People bring them in for the 10,000 kilometer service. None of the valves are out. I heard Steve Hicks saying that yesterday from the Boston. I hear it all the time. But again, it comes down to who's riding the bike. The most bagger riders, you know, they're not going to. They're not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Thanks.